everyone, welcome to Out of Spec Guide. I'm Max, I'm with uh, Drew from Martian Wheels, friend of the channel. How's it going? Going well, Drew. So we're in your Model 3 performance, yep. but uh, we're making this video because it applies to basically any Tesla and how regenerative braking, one pedal driving works in Tesla. So Drew, it's pretty uh, default in Tesla. There's not a lot of configurability like in other cars where you have different levels of it, right? Uh, true, yeah, for most Tesla models, they used to give you the ability to run uh, at least two different settings of regen strength. Um, all of the new models, there there isn't, uh -huh. uh, except for the cars with track mode, where then it is uh, it's variable um, quite a lot, basically yep. from zero to one hundred percent. Yeah. Um, of you know that that it'll give you. It's a good thing you want you want your electric car to have regen. Um, in slippery situations like we're in today where it's snow and ice, um, that can upset the car. Basically, yeah. it can uh, start to lock the wheels, just like when you're on the brakes, um, you know, the, the tires are, are potentially sliding and then your ABS uh, would help you to get those wheels back rolling again. Right. So, you know, the brake happens, the wheel stops spinning and it releases, the wheel can spin again so you can still turn right. uh, while you're braking. Um, and Tesla has uh, the ability to do that through regen. So basically, if that happens where, and let's go into track mode where you can see it more, uh, more pronounced. Um, if you start to slide just because of regen, when you're decelerating, the car will actually start to then do basically that same thing that ABS does and reduce the, the amount of regen. And so I'll just show you an example here. Basically, this is your gauge. So now we're on power and the other side is gonna be green for regen. And so what you'll see here is it's going back and forth like yeah. this because we're starting to slide as I just go full regen and it's limiting the regen and then trying to reapply it, it's sliding, taking it away, reapplying it, it's yep. sliding, taking it away. And uh, so that's a good uh, you know, visual representation of what's what's happening there. Yep, it's intelligently reducing the slip and that's a great you know safety feature when you're driving mixed tracks in situations like we are in today. I always wanna preface, you know, the, the question comes a lot, up a lot where I'm talking to friends and they say, are electric cars good or bad in winter driving? And so much of that is obviously dependent on a lot of things. Today, right, we're on this Nokia and test track. So this Model 3, is it on the studded winter tires? Uh, these are these are actually uh, Bridgestone Blizzaks. Okay, uh, so standard winter compound tires. And no it's, studs. Yeah, but nonetheless, still very good, way better than all seasons, way better than, you know, summer performance slicks would be. Yeah. Uh, so generally, I think in any car, you want to have the right tire, but in Tesla, I've always been impressed that when you do have the right tire, and when you have like a dual motor Tesla like this, right, mm -hmm. with all wheel drive, they seem to be able to control the traction very well, very precisely, and very quickly. Yep, Ab absolutely. You have basically infinite control with electric motors, so that provides a lot of uh, opportunities for very precise and tuning. When you say infinite, you mean, so we just talked about, right, ABS, that's the system where it uh, defeats slip by basically pulsing the brakes. Mm -hmm. uh, as I understand the motors, they can just control those so much quicker and that's what we were seeing with that pulsing on the green. Exactly. It's kind of, it seems like it's yeah much more finely adjusting the wheels. E exactly, yep, yep. You don't have uh, pulses from an engine you know, happening X amount of times per minute, mm -hmm. you have just this smooth linear, uh, linear power. So, um, yeah, best uh, traction control uh, I've ever experienced. For yep. Sure. For someone coming from an ICE vehicle, what do you think is the biggest adjustment with at least the way Tesla does their one pedal and the regen, especially when the climate's cold? Uh, so let's say your battery's cold. What are some effects you might have to uh, deal with in that situation? Um, well, yeah, when you're, uh, at higher state of charge or when your battery is very cold, you might uh, not have as much regen. And so then you're decelerating with the friction brakes like normal. Um, so uh, yeah, that all that really means then is you're really just not, not able to put energy back into the battery. Yep. Um, and as I understand, Tesla has the option of doing that, I guess now brake blending fairly yes, recently. Exactly. So can we, uh, once we are safe to come to a stop, look yeah. at that in settings? 
So here we go, pedals and steering, this uh, checkbox basically apply brakes when regenerative braking is limited. So that would be when the battery is at a high state of charge, like basically 100%, mm -hmm. um, or yeah, the battery's cold or, or something like that. So you would uh, press that and um, basically the car will then activate the friction brakes automatically. So you will be feeling the same thing that you would normally feel when you lift off the throttle uh -huh. and get a lot, a certain amount of uh, deceleration that's now happening at the same rate just with the friction brakes. Yep, and we might not be, I, we don't have the status message now because you know our battery is at a good temperature, but some one regen is not uh, available. The car does notify you about that. Yep, absolutely. And uh, in general, when it comes to more of this kind of spirited performance driving, mm -hmm. how do you find, uh, what are some tips for basically kind of tuning your throttle sensitivity, your approach to both braking and accelerating um, in a dual motor Tesla in particular? Um, yeah, I mean, in, in uh, you know, this environment, or, you know, if you were to be like rallying your, your Tesla, um, you know, in, in competition on dirt, snow, ice, something like that, um, you want the car to have enough uh, freedom to slide so the settings um, I use are somewhere around there where you have the bias set uh, more towards the, the rear and that is going to cause the car to uh, have more of an oversteer uh, yeah. balance. Yeah. And this also affects the, uh, the regen or the, the regen when it's set uh, pretty far to the rear actually helps to rotate the car when you're off power. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have on power, off power, um, handling balance that you can play with, yeah. and then the amount of slip ultimately that you allow with, with this um, slider there. And, yeah, and uh, these settings so are only available, as I understand, the performance, the dual motor uh, trims of Model Y and Model 3. Yep, and Plaid. And, so yep. the three, three cars now have track mode, and um, yeah, all works pretty pretty similar. And let's say someone bought, you know, this the prices are pretty sweet right now, let's say for a base rear wheel drive Model 3. Mm -hmm. What are some uh, tips they could have for better winter driving, assuming they have the right tires, of course, like I mentioned earlier. What yep. are some other things they can change with their driving style to be safe in winter? Uh, to be safe in winter, um, come out and, and learn how to drive the car uh, in an environment like this. Uh, where there's lots of like um, uh, autocross schools, regional autocross schools, um, performance driving um, classes that you can take basically where whether you're using your vehicle or renting something, you can, you know, put yourself into a situation where you're sliding the car and learning how it feels at the limit mm -hmm. in a safe environment. Yeah. Um, and so that would be, that'd be the number one. And beyond that, it would be your equipment. So just good tires. And if you've got driving skill and good tires, you're probably not gonna have any problems in winter. Right. I hear people saying a lot, you know, rear wheel drive is not only worse than all wheel drive, it's worse than front wheel drive. I've, to me, it's always been the perspective of just different handling dynamics, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's just kind of basically a different skill for people to learn. If they're coming into a Model 3 and they have, let's say, like a front wheel drive Chevy Bolt or just, or, or even more commonly, like an ICE gas car, um, it'll be different. Yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. Absolutely. They're all, all different. And so even here today where we have a lot of, um, dual motor or at least all wheel drive electric cars, mm -hmm. they all handle so differently yeah. and have their own character. Um, here, I'm trying to chase a, a Mercedes <laughs> EQS. Yes. And uh, I'm not sure what tires they are, but it's looking, looking pretty, pretty good. Yeah, uh, very confident grip on that car. It's got, uh, it's got a, lot of, a lot of curb weight, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, so, doesn't hurt. yeah, characteristic of all EVs, Tesla's too, is right, they tend to be heavier than most uh, other cars and they have more torque than a lot of other cars. Yep. So it's all about managing that torque. Now Tesla doesn't really do like, I guess they have chill and sport acceleration, which we could look at, but they don't really do driving modes in the traditional sense that like a lot of other automakes do. Yep. Um, so is, this, is would you say just down to how sensitive you are on the throttle, your driving style, how you control that? Uh, yeah, I mean, you're still in control with, with a system like track mode or another car that has, you know, the ability to turn off 
or at least really limit the amount of uh, stability control intervention, mm -hmm. then that means it's back to being old school. Yeah. You know, it's it's up to you, you know, because this is all, everything I'm doing right now is, if I make a mistake with my steering or my, or my throttle inputs, um, you know, we are going to crash. Yeah. So the car won't, uh, won't save you. No. Um, and that's uh, in, you know, an environment yeah. like this, that's, that's what you want. Yep, and we've been in particular mentioning track mode. Now track mode is a great way, I think, to just get to grips with a car. I've been enjoying using it today uh, on the Performance Model 3. It's just kind of getting used to that spirited driving, but yep. it's really right, something we should use in controlled environments because we're defeating stability control. This is not something we're probably gonna wanna use on public roads. Um, it, uh, it shouldn't be used on public roads. Yeah. That's what we should say. Yes, uh, of course, you, you have your own driving decisions, but uh, just keep in mind that this is basically a, uh, it's just behind the scenes of a lot of what the car is doing to help compensate uh, for your mistakes and just distribute power uh, to both motors. Yep, yep, exactly. And maximum fun. Forget about that. Yes, you gotta have fun at the end of the day. And I gotta say, especially with track mode and uh, being able to, you know, change the stuff up, you can really have fun in a oh, Model yeah. 3. People say the Model 3 is a bland appliance car, doesn't have personality. <laughs> yeah. uh, today, I don't, I've learned, I don't think that's that very true. <laughs> Yeah, drive one in a performance setting and uh yeah and uh today you know channel sponsor out of spec uh sorry out of spec channel sponsor nokian tires whose track we're on today at copper mountain it's a great opportunity but like you said autocross there's plenty of uh opportunities that you know anyone watching this could seek out if they want to have an opportunity to experience more spirited driving a absolutely yeah absolutely yeah so seek those out but basically yep. i kind of want to make this video just as a, a PSA of like, one, don't be scared of EVs in the winter. They're powerful. Uh, some of them, the rear wheel drive only ones might seem kind of spicy and like, oh no, it's a death, uh, it, it's a death risk. It's, you know, these modern, uh, I think traction control systems are so good, particularly with the tuning of electric motors. Yeah. And uh, watching you drive, it also is evident that at the limit, doing performance driving, you can have fun as well. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so really the best of, best of both worlds and uh, obviously, all the other benefits that come with electric. For sure. Uh, yep, just yeah, just the best. Yeah, so Tesla in particular, that's what this video has been about, but I know a lot of other regens, uh, regen systems in cars, like Hyundai cars with uh, their multiple levels of regen are different. So if you're watching this and you have questions, let us know. We wanna make more videos. So uh, let us know if you have questions about winter driving with your electric car and how regen works, uh, because this is mainly applied to Teslas. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching on Spec Guide. Thank you, Drew, for joining me. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to join you. Yeah, and uh, I'm man, iPhone stabilization done a great job here. But uh, <laughs> let's keep driving, having fun, and uh, stay tuned to Spec Guide for more uh, tips on living within an EV.